head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is John. I'm a daily viewer of your show. Love your show. I have one concern going into the Bengals game. I, I came to my attention that Buffalo, the Buffalo Bills uh, last year, ran a similar defense to what we are going to run here. And as you know, Cincinnati carved them up, especially in that playoff game. Um, is there a fear that Cincinnati has the remedy for this type of defense? And should we be worried uh, about what they did to Buffalo, which is a similar defense to what we'll be running this year? Thank you, and I'll keep watching. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Um, Casey, I don't know the Bills' defensive backfield off the top of my head. I know their safeties are okay. I don't think they have the corners um, that can match up the way the Browns can. And I think that's key if you're playing – Zone behind that, that's a different story than if you're, you're getting after it with, uh, with guys on them tight. My sense is, is in watching that, that the Bills kind of threw underneath, that we're allowing the Bengals to throw underneath. I don't think the Browns are going to do that. No, and, and I'd also like to point out that this defense, like most defenses, are predicated on generating pressure up front. And, and that Bills defense was without Vaughn Miller. And they were unable to generate pressure. I don't care what scheme you're running. If you don't get pressure on Joe Burrow, he's going to carve you up. That's just the way it's going to go. Um, but the Browns, the way the personnel set up, they're not going to have a shortage of pass rushers. They're going to be able to get pressure. I think Cincinnati's coming into this game wanting to run quick game anyway just to get that ball out of Burrow's hands. They know he's not going to have long to throw it. It's going to change the rules of engagement. Um, I think it's incumbent upon the defensive backs, though, to be able to come up and tackle short of the sticks. So I think that's where the majority of the game is going to be played for the Bengals offense. Yeah, that Jim Schwartz alluded to that um, earlier in the show that, you know, run after catch is going to be huge. And I, I agree with you. I think with Burrow coming back from that um, calf, they don't want him running around. It's going to be a couple steps, get rid of it, and, and we'll see what the linebackers underneath JOK, the safeties can do relative to their short passing game. I don't think, the, I don't think Schwartz is not somebody who's going to say, oh, they're, they're throwing underneath. We're going to let them do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not, that is not in his makeup, which is one of the reasons I like him. All right.